Okay, hello guys, you alright? Um, sorry about the quality on this, my video camera isn't working at the moment, so I'm going to have to try and upload it directly to YouTube from my webcam. Um, the audio quality might be horrible on this, but I'll just have to test it out, see how it works. Okay, um, it's basically just going to be me going through my new 1500 point Space Marine list. Now, um, start off with the uh, HQ choices. We've got a captain. And I've given him uh, Storm Bolter, Power Sword, Artificer Armor, and Metal Bombs. We have a veteran with the company standard. Um, just a really cool model, to be honest. Um, and I like the idea of having the Command Squad. Um, so, yeah, we have the Command Squad, which has got the company standard guy, um, got the Apothecary, as usual. Um, this guy is just a veteran with a uh, power fist. One of my favourite models, actually. Just looks really cool. Uh, I don't know. It's a really cool space marine model. And then we've got just two normal marines with a metal gun and one with a uh, plasma gun. Uh, and then they're putting a dedicated transport of Rhino, uh, which is 35 points. Um, but also, I I think I gave it a dozer blade, just so you don't have to worry about difficult terrain so much. You don't want to be, you know, uh, shooting towards your enemy and then just get stopped. Uh, it'd be really disappointing. Um, there is a reason I didn't put them in a Razorback. Um, I just think it'll be five extra points that I don't really use. I'm not really planning on using the transports for firing at anyone. Um, okay, so then we move on to just the uh, generic uh, troop choices. Um, I've got two uh, two tactical squads, both of them equipped exactly the same. Um, so it's the tactical squad with ten marines, so the, the standard uh, plus five. Um, flamer for free, just so that you can blast a few uh, ordinary troops if you're getting close. And uh, give metal bombs to the sergeant, um, just for those vehicles or whatever, um, perhaps. But also give him power fist. Um, this is just an example of one of the guys uh, with the power fist. It's just an ordinary guy. I think he was at one of the old sets. I've got loads of different space marines from different times, but um, yeah. And then his power fist comes from a really old version of the Terminators. Uh, so yeah, just a really cool power fist. I thought. Anyway, um, so pretty generic marines. Uh, two two scores of tactical marines. Um, uh, they're both the same, and they're both in rhinos as well. Um, and I can't remember where I gave him those blades, but it doesn't really matter. Um, then we have a Terminator squad. Uh, not assault Terminators, just ordinary Terminators. And this is the leader for those guys. Um, he's a really cool guy, just a great model. <laughs> I really like it, metal, nice, a nice old model. Um, and the rest of the guys come from the Black Reach set. Uh, i just show you what I've done with them. Um, and I'll give the rest of the Terminators uh, Chain Fists, because, you know, like, one 2d6 is crazy. Uh, if you want to just deep strike and then attack some tanks. So, yeah, um, these are just out of it's on Black Reach. And just use the Orc, um, uh, some of the Orc Chain Swords from that set. Uh, just attach them to the bottom. That's not how they're going to be in the end. I haven't like finished that yet, but that's uh, that's basically how it's going to be. And I give one of them a uh, heavy flamer, which was like five points. So you know, might as well be, might as well give them a heavy flamer. <coughs> cool. So that's my uh, elite. I don't really have uh, any elite choices. I just think they're quite cool because you can deep strike them. Um, what were we on? Uh, nearly five minutes. Okay, four and a half minutes. So, uh, then we have what I really enjoy about any army, really, uh, and especially Space Marines, is uh, fast attack. So we have an uh, Assault Squad. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Um, we have a Assault Squad, 
uh, of the standard 5 plus 4 um, extra assault marines. I didn't do 5 because the points didn't quite work out. But anyway, yeah. Um, so all we did was give uh, lightning claws to the sergeant. Uh, rip this off an old model. <laughs> an old Terminator model. So, uh, you know, just fairly standard. But yeah, lightning claws quite nice. And also give metal bombs to the sergeant as well. Because uh, if he comes up against the tank, the lightning claws aren't going to be that great. Um, just metal bombs are just good to have, like, as a little extra for everyone. Only five points is it's quite good. Um, then we have the uh, land speeder tornado pattern uh, with the uh, salt cannon underneath. Uh, the heavy bolt was not attached at the minute. Uh, it broke off earlier, so I'll have to put that back on. And finally, we have the Space Marine Biker Squad. This is just one of them. I've got five. Uh, the basic setup of five bikers, um, and uh, we give the sergeant a power fist. We give uh, one of the bikers a metal gun, and we give the other one a plasma gun. Uh, basically, the real simple tactic with these guys is: um, well, I'll just deploy the three rhinos with um, my two tech squads and the command squad and the other one. So just three rhinos on the table and deploy these guys as well and just um, turbo boost them up, get a cover save and then just go straight for any tanks with the uh, plasma gun, metal gun and then uh, that's like turn 2 maybe and then assault with the power fist or whatever you know just try and mash up some tanks, probably transports um, just to get their troops out on the ground so I can start shooting them with other stuff and assaulting them with my uh, assault marines and with the terminators Anyway, um, that's just the basic idea with these guys. They're sort of they're quite cheap. Um, they're like 140 points, which is not cheap, but you know it's cheap enough to just run up and then kill some of their transports early in the game. If you can do that, I think their the, their job is done. Anyway, um, that was just a short look through the list and a couple of basic tactics. I'll do further videos on it, and hopefully, I'll actually have my proper video camera. Uh, working again, which has higher quality, better audio quality, and all that. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick run through. Um, I'd love to have any uh, comments, criticisms, because I'm not really a um, 40k player, to be honest. I come from fantasy side of it. You know, I've played a couple of armies of fantasy. Um, I've played vampire counts, uh, played a bit of vampire, and I'm currently making a Lizman army. Uh, but this is just, I thought I'd expand that into Space Marines because I've got a load of models from someone. Um, all the rhinos are just really old mo versions of rhinos. I might buy new updated models, but I don't really know. It's about it's like 60 quid for things that I already sort of have. And you know, if anyone complains, oh well, I don't care. Anyway, so yeah, uh, comments, criticisms are always uh, always appreciated. I'd like to have some. Um, yeah, tell me what you think of the army. And uh, I'll speak to you soon because I'm starting to run out of time. Anyway, bye. And I can't stop it from recording.